interesting topic today. Is there such a thing as a positive side to capitalism? And you might have heard of different concepts, or basically it's the same concept, that it has different names. <coughs> Some call it financial freedom or on another level financial independence and on a political level it is also discussed and there it has a other name the name is basic income there are now um, two experiments running that I know of one in Finland and one in Africa somewhere now or it will start soon um, but what I want to talk about today is the concept of financial freedom or yeah, financial independence. Those are basically two stages of the same thing where you have uh, investments and capital gains from your investments that support your lifestyle. If you are financially independent, it first of all uh, your income from your investments is so high that you can cover all your basic needs and when you have financial freedom you have a little bit more of income from your investments to cover also all the things that you want to do and how is this tied to capitalism? yeah basically I think capitalism is or has the positive side to allow for a lot of individual freedom if you resist the urges that are created through advertisements to spend all your extra income um, that basically we have gained from advancement in advan advancements whatever in uh, productivity and gains from uh, optimization and such things but we have largely on a broader scale used those uh, gains in productivity to consume more instead of just increasing our free time it was already Karl Marx who, put, or who was saying that in the year 2030 we will probably work on average only 15 hours per week uh, yeah, but obviously we are not quite there yet but I doubt that in 2030 we will have the average working week of 15 hours yeah but he was wrong and he didn't foresee that we would use this gain in optimization and uh, technology to just produce more to consume more he basically didn't see that we could have so many more wishes that we want to fulfill and um, yeah don't see our free time as valuable as our um, yeah to increase our the density of experiences in our free time um, yeah but my idea is is that it's, this is actually not true we just have this way of life now because it has been those wishes have been awoken in us through advertisement and we have fallen a victim to this on a global level because yeah, I would propose that people can be happier and actually reach the things that they want with financial freedom if you have the time and you allow yourself to step out of this um, society or you don't step out of the society but you you step out of this habit of um, that you have brought been brought up in to focus all of your life towards a, a career towards work and basically all of your other actions also revolve around work and you are basically shaped by this one thing that gives most people a sense of um, you know, stability in their life and um, yeah this is not an easy process <laughs> to step out of it and uh, to find something for yourself 
um, to fulfill this purpose and to um, replace the purpose of work for you but um, it can be done and many people do it already you can read up on many blogs on the internet where people are exactly exactly doing that they um, show how they save for financial independence or financial freedom and um, yeah this is basically if it comes down to not on an individual level but what we have to do on a global level to make this work is that we use the gains in automation and productivity to give us more free time and this actually is a good process I think because automation is oftentimes regarded as evil because it basically um, sets people free of their work and reduces um, common areas in which there was a lot of work to be found in the past and yeah but I think this is actually a good thing because if we allow ourselves to reevaluate what we think of as valuable what we think of as a valuable thing to spend our time on then we can gain a lot as a society and yeah because I think a lot of people also not only gain something from their work but they don't really know that work takes a lot from them some people feel it because they get depressed from it they hate their job and they know it but many people that would also say oh, I like my work and I like <coughs> to go to work what's actually happening is that they have just been going to work for so long and neglected a lot of other parts of their life that they just don't see a better, uh, better alternative to work so work has overtake too much of their life so they don't have any real alternative and work is the only thing that many people can go to for example to have social interactions and on a regular basis because other uh, social relationships have been neglected because they needed to work so much and yeah this is uh, I think something to think about and uh, a lot of negative things have already been said about capitalism and can also be said about it but I th what I wanted to say with this video is basically uh, that it also harbors the possibility to give us more freedom and more freedom than we have ever experienced in the past because um, there you were also dependent on systems and even though they were much smaller than today's systems but they were still in place and you it was also I think hard to step out of society in the past so or out of society's conventional ways of living but today we really have the opportunity to use this and use this to our advancement and gain a lot of free time and freedom in the process so let me know what you think about this and please share the video I think this is an interesting concept that more people need to think about and need to be aware of that there is a different way and I will talk about related topics in the future as well and keep you updated on my personal journey towards financial freedom hopefully so see